when he was about to offer his life on the cross for our salvation. He experienced betrayal, denial, and abandonment. Welcome to Panao, a Holy Week journey with Jesus. I am Father Abel Villarojo. Ubanta! Let us walk with Jesus and enter into the mystery of His passion, death, and resurrection. Today is Holy Tuesday. In light of our Gospel reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 13, verses 21 to 38, we come face to face with human weakness. Jesus chose 12 men to journey with Him. He formed their minds and hearts through His words and actions. He made them partakers of His divine mission. But during the crucial period of His life and ministry, when He was about to offer His life on the cross for our salvation, He experienced betrayal, denial, and abandonment. St. John narrates to us, Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Isn't it painful when we are betrayed by the one we love? Jesus had this painful experience. Judas Iscariot must have been one of his trusted disciples. In fact, he was chosen to be the treasurer of the group. He had a money bag. This means that he was in charge of the administration of goods needed for their ministry, including the allocation of money to the poor. But why did Judas end up betraying Jesus? Was he disappointed that Jesus was not yet doing something to overthrow the Roman oppressors? Was he influenced by Satan at that very moment or was he simply consumed by his desire for money? Various theories have arisen all throughout the centuries. But here, I would like to underline an interesting detail. Despite the betrayal and infidelity of Judas, Jesus did not cease to reach out to him. In the Gospel, we are told that Jesus dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. My dear friends, if we are honest and humble enough to acknowledge our sinfulness, we can say that we have been unfaithful to Jesus too. We have betrayed Him in varied ways when we choose to discard His presence and commit sin. But Jesus never ceases to reach out to us. He continues to offer Himself to us through the sacraments we celebrate and through the instrumentality of people who truly care for us. We pray. Lord Jesus Christ, in this Holy Week celebration, as we sincerely ask forgiveness for our sins and infidelities, may we realize how you constantly stretch out your hand to bless us, to absolve us, and to heal us. May your faithfulness and mercy be our hope. Amen. <music>